Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm your host Marcos. And this time I'll talk about how to build a fully featured shoulder wig for a camera. Modern DSLR, Evil and Home Video cameras can make quite good video. They are small and very light. This is also their problem. Modern image stabilization has come a long way, but it can't do magic. You still have to hold the camera steady, and the lighter the camera is, the less mass and thus inertia it has, thus the mod will shake. Humans are no tripods after all. We are living, breathing, moving and shaking beings. Shoulder rigs serve two purposes here. They reduce shaking by having multiple points of contact to your body. Your shoulder, moving very little as you breathe. Your hands, spaced far apart to reduce shaking. And increase smooth control of the camera by having long levers between the hand, the camera and the turning point of the motion. And last but not least, your eye. That is, if you use a viewfinder or display viewfinder. They also increase the mass and thus inertia. As far as possible, this is done by having attachment points for equipment. An external audio recorder and microphone to improve sound quality. A follow focused manual focus without having to touch the lens itself. Or a matte box to reduce stray light that leads to lens flares. Additional batteries to last longer. And as a last step only, we add as much dead weight as needed to balance the rig comfortably. We need two 50mm watts, about 1m in length, three small watts for the handles, two comfortable bicycle grips, some M5 wing bolts and nuts, M5 washers are optional but we can't, a Manfrotto quick release adapter, and either a cheap seagull shoulder support or some simple padding. First, we 3D print four times the so called middle piece, the camera plate and two end pieces. You may print other parts now or later as we go on. Attach these to the 1 meter rods about a third from the front. Clamp one of them with M5 by 16 ring bolts and nuts. You will find recesses to trap the nuts. Then grip the camera plate, align it with three of the middle pieces, then clamp the other two. Now take the seagull, remove the long quarter inch bolt it has a trapped nut, we need to grip it with some pliers. Insert the Manfrotto plate into the camera plate. Use a quarter inch bolt to combine everything loosely. Try it on and adjust the location of the camera plate until you are comfortable. Now fasten the bolt. Move around to find the required length of rod before the camera and behind your shoulder. Leave enough room for the counterweight behind your shoulder and at least 20 cm in front of your lens. Now we take off the seagull and shorten the rods. A dream mill works fine for this. Fixate the dream mill, mark the cut on the rod all the way around. Then keep the dream mill fixed while turning the rod. This will give an even and clean cut. Clean the sharp edges first with the dream mill, then with the wasp. You may taper them slightly to assist sliding things onto them. Next we need four T pieces. You may want to use the extra strong ones for two of these. Attach the seagull again, clamp the small ones onto the rods. Then slide one rod through. Slide the two stronger ones onto this rod. Wrap tape around the two rods left until you can fit the handles. Slide these on and try it on. Find a comfortable position for the handles. Then mark the location of the holes on the handle rods and the middle rod. Take it apart again and drill M5 holes on these marks. Use a T-piece to make sure things fit. It is no problem to drill away some plastic if it doesn't align perfectly. Next we go back and print two end pieces. Slide these on and mark the holes as well. Make sure to clean the holes after drilling. Now we assemble everything and voila, we have a basic shoulder rig. Use it and move around, adjust it until you are satisfied.